Hi, this video is a special Christmas edition for the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the November 2015 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 15, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, <clears throat> identical letters stand for identical digits and different letters for different digits. <clears throat> for example, AB will be a two-digit number. Determine the value of a letter such that all three horizontal computations and all three vertical calculations are correct. Which of the following statements is correct? Okay, so what we have here is just the exact same calcrostic shown in the question. So what we want to do is we want to find clues that will give us relations. Okay, let's start by looking at the first column. We have AB plus E is equal to FC. So we have a two-digit number plus a one-digit number is equal to another two-digit number. And now if we look in the tens column, here we have A, but then here for the sum, the tens column is then F. And that means that F must be one greater than A. Now we know this because even if we took the two greatest digits, in the ones column, so let's say 9 and 8, well, that sum would still be 17, and then that f would still be 1 greater than a. So now we have eliminated one unknown. So we can write f is equal to a plus 1. Okay, now we can, un we can eliminate another unknown here, for E because it is just B plus C and here we have B and C. Now let's rewrite this column. So we'll still have a B and then we have plus. Now instead of E we will write B plus C. And then we will have is equals to and now instead of F, we have A plus 1, so we will write AC. But now since we know that F is 1 greater than A in the tens column, well, that means that we must add 10 to AC. Okay. Now we can cancel out the C in the ones column here, C and C. And then we can cancel out the A in the tens column here, A and A. And what we are left with is B plus B is equal to 10. So that's just like 2B, which is equal to 10. Okay, so since 2b is equal to 10, that means b must equal to 5. Okay, now let's look at the top column. Well, the top row. ab times c is equal to db, and we know that b is 5. Well, we have 5 times C is equal to, and then it ends in B, which is 5. So B times 5 times C then ends in 5. Now, if C were even, if it was an even number, well, then this would end in 0. But we know that it ends in 5, so that means that we know C must be an odd number. Okay, now let's look at the middle row. So we have E minus B is C. Now that's just like saying C plus B is E. And we know that B is 5. Well, we know of course C can't be 5 because B is 5. So what if C were 7? Well, C can't be 7 because 7 plus 5, that would already give 12. But this is just a one digit number. So that means that C must be less than 5. So since it's odd, it must be 3 or 1. Now, of course, if C was 1, 
Well, let's look here at this column, db divided by 1, that would just equal db. But here we have ab. Now this means that c must equal to 3. Okay, and now since we have c is 3 and b is 5, well c plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. That means that e must equal to 8. Okay, well now let's look at the top row again. Here we have a and then it ends in 5 times 3 is equal to db. Well, if a was 4, well 40, let's 45 times 3, that would already be over 120. But of course db is just a two digit number. Well, that means that a must be less than 4. And we know that c is 3, so a must be either 1 or 2. Now if a were 2, and now going back to here we know that f is 1 greater than a, so if a were 2, f would be 3, but that doesn't work because c is 3 already. That means that a must equal to 1. And if we know that a must equal to 1, f must equal to 2. Finally, all we need to find out is D. Well, here we already have 15 times 3 is equal to 45. And that means that D must equal to 4. Okay. Now we have all the values and we can look at the options. Okay, option A. A is equal to 2. Well, that's wrong because we know a is equal to 1. Option B, f is equal to 3, that's wrong, we know f is equal to 2. Option C, b is equal to 2, that's wrong, we know b is equal to 5. D, c is equal to 6, no, c is equal to 3, that's also wrong. Option E, e equals to 6, no, we know e equals to 8. Then option F, d equals to 4, well, we know that's correct because d equals to 4. And finally, option g, d equals 7. No, we know it's d equals 4. So the correct option is f, d equals to 4. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carerootest.com.